Okay, we're going to talk about AP Stats 2018 free response question number one. Uh, this is my interpretation of it. So it's a regression question. Go ahead and pause the video if you haven't seen the question already. But um, for those of us that have read it, we're talking about customers in line and how much time. Uh, this regression output is very common for these type of questions. They give you a table and it's full of stuff. And sometimes there's more stuff than other times. What you need to know is that this output pertains to this line right here. And we know from Algebra 1 that a line has the form y equals mx plus b. And so to find the values of m and b, what you need to do is look for the coefficients. And that's right here. There's two coefficients. These are the most important numbers in this problem. Um, the constant and the customers in line. Now, one of them is m and one of them is b. They're both coefficients here. Now, because m is with a variable, it's not constant. And this number b here will never change because there's no variable with it. So the, the b is what the constant is. But if you forget, the explanatory variable is right here. It's the x-axis. So that's really what the x is. Customers in line, they're telling you that's what the x is. So the number in front of the x coefficient is the number in front of the x is 174. So when I write this, it would be y hat. That's the predicted value. It's just y equals mx plus b here. So y equals 174.40x and then plus b. So I'm going to say plus 72.95. That's the equation of the line. But we can do even better because we can substitute what these variables are. So we can say the predicted time, all right, equals 174.4 times the customers, the number of customers in line. So I'll just put the number of customers. And it ran out of room, plus 72.95. That's the equation. That's the best way to do it with that little fancy hat on it. And so that communicates to the the greater and everyone else that you're predicting time. These are giving, the line gives you a prediction for the time. So, all that being said, let's now look at the questions and see if we can answer. Question A, identify and interpret the in context, the estimate of the intercept. Okay, the intercept, we're talking about the y-intercept for the least squares regression line. So the y-intercept is the 72.95. So that's this number right here. So in context, what is that? So I would write this out as the intercept of 72.95 predicts about how many seconds we should expect to wait if there were no customers in line, zero customers. So you have to talk, first of all, when you look at the solution guide, it says you need to use the word predicts or estimates or we should expect, okay? It's giving you, um, you need to convey the idea that this is a prediction. It's a model that we're gonna use as a tool to figure out what it should be what we could expect. Okay, we also have to talk about the fact that there would be zero customers in line because that's what a y-intercept is. Okay, so that's, we put that in there, no problem. Next, uh, part B, identify and interpret the co in context the coefficient of determination, which is r squared. So r squared is the fraction of variation in y that can be explained by x. So it's how much y varies, how much x has to do with y varying, more or less. But so if you, you, what you have to do, I tell my students, you have to memorize that r squared, the coefficient of determination. First, you have to memorize that that is what r squared is because they might not give you this. All right? But r squared, which we find right here, is the amount of variation in y that can be explained by x. And so there are other variables, there's other things going on, but in this case, 73.3% of the variation in time. So we want to put it in context. So I would put that as 73.33% of the variability in the time it takes customers to finish checking out, including the time waiting in line, can be explained by knowing how many customers are in line in front of the selected customers. So we're just taking the fraction variation of y that can be explained by x. We're taking what y is, and in context, what is y? It's the time it takes customers to finish checking out. I mean, you can go right up here and read that, okay? and then. That can be explained by x. And what is x? The number of customers in line. Um, so that's what I would do for b. That was pretty straightforward. You just have to memorize what r squared is. And then lastly, c. One of the data points is an outlier. Circle the point and explain why it's considered an outlier. So going back up here, remember an outlier is a point that is really far away from what the prediction is. In this case, it's a, the straight line. So 
which point here is furthest away? And this is one that most students get. They realize that this is the outlier right here because it's furthest, like it should be up here, right? So that's furthest away from the predicted value. So how are we gonna write that out? So here's how I wrote it out. The circle point, which is 350, not, I'm estimating right here, is that about 50? I don't know, is much further away from the regression line than the other points. It does not lay where you would expect as our model predicts a waiting time. So I'm gonna be really specific here. Our model predicts for three customers, it should be up here somewhere. I'm gonna say almost 500, around 500. So as our model predicts a waiting time of almost 500, ooh, I should be really, really specific here, seconds for three customers in line. And I should fix my typo. Okay, that should do it. I mean, that's a pretty easy free response question. That is 2018 number one. Good luck out there.